Hello folks, welcome to another episode of Eternal Evolution and once again thank you for your loving support. I just recently finished the 6th egg in the Easter Painters event and I just spent around 15k diamonds here just to obtain the Captain Rabbit skin of Ravenna and if you followed my advice before in my previous videos then you can save lots of diamonds. If I rate this skin, it will be just 5 out of 10 and I hope the game will have a collaboration with other animators or 3D artists for some best cool and dope skins. Of course, those dope skins are not free because being an artist requires skills and creativity. The seventh egg now requires lots of diamonds because there were no available easter coins to farm and I have around 170k diamonds and pioneers like Zardas have lots of diamonds because we played this game already for 11 months. You can farm these diamonds as progress mainly in the normal chapter scenario mode and the twilight lands and in some major game modes. If you are a spender, then you can get these diamonds by purchasing around $15 at the store, more specifically at the growth fund and you can collect these diamonds as you progress in the chapter scenario mode. After purchasing some dyes from 170k diamonds, I now have 135k and it cost me around 35k to activate the 7th egg. I think this is quite fair for players who played this game for a long time and maybe the game will utilize all abundant resources like the soul potions that became one of the most scarce items in the game. The seventh egg takes 72 hours to finish and we still have an estimate of 11 days to buy dyes with a 50% discount at the shop. Still I insist on using this accelerate at the last egg, on the last day of the event and maybe the last egg will take 4 days to finish or 96 hours. I will update the egg painter event from time to time and I will post a video on when to paint the last egg. Going back to our main topic, this video is intended for those players who followed my guide. If you have already maxed out Nord Thian, Leo, and the Summoner Team Trio named Anpu, Sorvali, and Daniel, then you can proceed to either Energy, Hunter, Vanguard, Assassin, or Tank Team Synergy. The most expensive Synergy is the Assassin Team because it requires Bailey Hudson and Rickert and Level 4 Phantom Cloak in order for this team to be extremely powerful. If you will go with Vanguard Synergy, then you will only need Crete since you already have Leo. If you will go with the energy team, both Ravenna and Luke can be obtained from the recruitment event hero selection cards. And speaking of Hunter Synergy, maybe it is still under development because they are only usable in a few game modes and there are free triple S Hunter heroes like Prigger in which you can obtain her in the Twilight Lands and Moriyami from the Summit Arena event. But if you are a fan of PvP, like in farming diamonds and resources in the regular arena, farming galactic arena coins to get multiple copies of Riz, and getting a high chance of win rate in the summit arena to get red runes and gene mutation 2 crystal, or you want to show off your creativity in terms of hero lineup in guild versus guild battle, then the most affordable synergy is the tank synergy. You will only need the triple S hero pandemonium and it would be best to make his exclusive equipment to level 30 and the rest of the heroes can be all non SSS heroes together with quite oisa boar or oak. Before all I thought was that tank synergy is best to counter vanguard heroes only but now it can defeat all other synergies with a higher win rate. Max talent is a necessity in PvP and it can make any hero stronger up to 40% and non triple S heroes are easy to upgrade to Immortal 5. Triple S heroes are very expensive to upgrade to Immortal 5 and only whales and krakens can do that in a short period of time. But with tank synergy, you can somehow have a chance to defeat those very strong players with just pandemonium and elite tank heroes. Many are complaining about the update on max talents, but on my channel, we will solve those problems one by one. For me, 
The update is just fair because we can utilize the not triple S heroes, but from the perspective of other players, they disagreed because maybe they are not optimistic or problem solvers. Anyway, that's human nature and it is a psychological battle between pride and being impatient. The next videos are the gameplays of Tank Synergy using Pandemonium and Elite Heroes and my commentary ends here and if you have questions, kindly shoot a message on the comment section. I also put a Discord link at the pinned message and anybody can join on my Discord channel. Until then, thank you.